So I recently cloned my hard drive to a new drive and the new drive will not boot up and so the error message I'm getting is the boot selection failed because a required device is inaccessible. So what's actually happening is that the master boot record is not pointing to the correct partition because what I did was I cloned a drive or I cloned partially the partitions on a drive and not the complete drive. So the master boot record is all messed up. So what I have to do is go into a Windows CD or to a Windows pre-environment CD. So I'm going to boot off of either a thumb drive, a DVD here. So I'm going to boot off of my DVD here. Now if you don't have the Windows Windows disk, definitely um, go to my description area. You could download a Windows pre-environment that you could put on a thumb drive. And so I'm going to go through the steps here. I'm going to click next on this window and you'll notice there is a repair. I'm going to click on the repair and it's simply going to go through all my hard drives and try to identify a Windows partition here. And it's going to identify the Windows boot partition and rewrite the master boot record. So you notice here if I click on view details it'll tell you exactly that that is actually remapping the master boot record to the correct partitions and after which I all I have to do is boot up now once again if you don't have the Windows CD there is a free Windows pre-environment in the description area where you could download that and boot off of that and run a few commands you're gonna have to run two commands boot record fix MBR and boot record um, I believe it's called uh, fix boot and then once you do that it will fix your partitions so in my case it actually fixed it automatically here so you'll notice if you do have the Windows CD it just fixes it automatically if you don't have the Windows CD you're gonna have to type in commands in a command prompt after you boot up so I am rebooting my computer here and in no time you'll see that it's gonna basically go into my windows and everything's gonna be fine and dandy now so you notice it finally boot up um, and once again this is because when I cloned my drive I didn't clone the entire drive I cloned uh, just the boot partition without uh, other partitions so the so so the clone is not exact and the master boot record has to be fixed because of that uh, but that's really it. That's really what I wanted to mention. I hope this helped and uh, please subscribe and thank you for watching.